The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. Welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants, on Supreme Master Television. On this edition of the Stop Animal Cruelty series, we will speak with Juliette Galatli, who founded the UK-based Vegetarians International Voice for Animals, or VIVA, in 1994, with the goal of creating a world where everyone enjoys a vegan, meaning animal-free diet. In 2002, Ms. Galatli also established a sister group, the Vegetarian and Vegan Foundation. Viva works to inform the public about the abuse, torture and appalling killing of animals by the meat industry, including the environmental destruction caused by its activities. In addition, Viva raises societal awareness of the health problems caused by a meat-based diet such as cancer and heart disease. As part of their efforts to show the reality of the meat industry, Viva members go undercover on factory farms to document and expose the horrendously inhumane treatment of the animals and the abominable conditions in which they are forced to live. Let's now meet with vegan heroine Juliette Galatli. Um, you've done a lot of undercover work in the slaughterhouses and factory farms. Can you tell us what you've seen? I've done a lot of undercover work and obviously it's extremely difficult, but you do it in the knowledge that it's to get um, the expose out there to change people um, and make them realise what they're directly contributing to. Um, I think one of the most difficult things I've ever done um, was going into a slaughterhouse and actually seeing pigs slaughtered. Um, you know, I have a huge passion and respect for pigs. They're just an amazing species, um, so full of fun and joie de vivre. And to see what happens to them just feet away from you is very difficult to handle. Um, I mean, basically what I saw was deliberately not putting the electrodes on either side of the animal's head, which is supposed to stun them so they don't feel the knife cutting the throat, deliberately putting those on for too short a time so that they were actually conscious um, when they came round. When they were slit in the throat and they struggled very, very violently and fell off what's known as the killing line, so they actually came off the chain and crashed to the floor with blood spewing out of their throats. Um, and they were put back up and obviously eventually did die. You have to remember as well, which is really distressing in its own right, is that people that slaughter are paid on the number of animals that they slaughter in a certain time. Therefore, any room for compassion, if they had any in their heart, is soon squeezed out of them. And that's what they said themselves, that anybody who has compassion doesn't work in a slaughterhouse for longer than 24 hours. The conditions under which factory farmed pigs are kept are nothing short of a nightmare. Sows or mothering pigs are kept in metal gestation crates, which are basically cages where the pigs cannot even turn around. Pigs are highly intelligent animals, so confining them is sheer mental torture. Let's hear from Ms. Galatli about the amazing inner world of pigs. I think because people eat pigs, they just see them as something that's a machine that's in a farm there created to be eaten and they forget that this is an intelligent, feeling, compassionate animal and um, a university in the United States have classed them now as the most intelligent animal on the planet, second only to humans. 
And um, it was a friend actually in Cambridge who rescued some pigs. She had about 12 pigs and a piglet she took to dog puppy training. And the piglet learnt how to do all the exercises so much quicker than any of the puppies and all of us recognise how fantastic dogs are and how bright they are. But this piglet was doing sit command within minutes, doing fetch, um, walk, all the basic commands incredibly quickly. Milk and other dairy products are considered by many to be cruelty free. However, milk production causes tremendous suffering to cows and consuming milk products is also detrimental to human health. Shockingly, a lot of people don't even realise that cows only give milk when they've given birth to a calf. Um, they just think that cows eat grass, make milk. So to show them that firstly a cow is artificially inseminated, has a nine month pregnancy the same as us, and then at the end of that nine month pregnancy she gives birth to a female or a male, no matter what the gender is of that calf, he or she is taken away, it's about three days old from the mother. Now they're very maternal so that causes a huge trauma to the animal which a lot of people living in the countryside will recognise because they'll have heard the bellowings of those animals when their babies are taken from them. She's then very soon after that made pregnant again. Obviously, because she's given birth, the milk kicks in and she's milked, the milk to be given to human beings. Um, she's made pregnant again and then she's milked seven months into that nine months pregnancy. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll be right back with more from our interview with Viva founder and director, Juliet Gilatli. The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. This is the Stop Animal Cruelty series on Supreme Master Television. Today, we have the honour of interviewing the founder and director of the UK-based Vegetarians International Voice for Animals, or VIVA, Ms Juliet Gilatli, about her fine work to protect our animal friends and promote veganism. We now continue our discussion with her on the dairy industry and milk production. In the UK, one in nine women, for example, now get breast cancer. And that's directly linked to what we're doing to ourselves because milk, of course, is um, absolutely loaded with um, hormones from an animal that's either pregnant or just given birth. So it's got estrogens, progesterones, and so on, but 35 different hormones in 11 what's known as growth factors. So just the sip of milk, you've got this whole cocktail of growth factors and hormones which are meant to get a calf from its size to at least triple its weight within one year. So those hormones are meant to direct the growth of that animal. Um, and so there are all sorts of issues with triggering the growth cells um, in us, uh, prostate cancer in men, breast cancer in women. The animals themselves go through a life where by literally three to four years old, most dairy cows in the UK are killed for low quality meat when they would naturally live much, much longer than that. I mean, I know in a sanctuary, um, a mother and daughter who are 36 and 34 years old. Ms. Gilatli has also documented the abuses of turkeys in factory farms. You go into one of those farms and you know we have hours of footage of this uh, where you literally find it difficult to even move through the animals because they're so packed in. So you've got these huge overgrown animals that have been selectively bred to be much too big for, the, for their age 
Um, they can barely walk because of their overgrown size and they just about shift away from you as you try to walk through them. Um, and just seeing animals who are just dead lying on the floor who've just been left there, um, even worse in some ways injured animals who are just left untreated and just the general state that they're in. Beaver has brought to the public's attention the savage treatment of ducks by the meat industry. And um, another campaign um, which I was very closely involved with myself was our duck campaign. We did a, a poll with Radio 4 who looked at, did anybody know that, that ducks were factory farmed at all and not a single person did because what we discovered in our investigations that in the UK 98% of all duck meat came from factory farmed animals and we went and filmed the conditions, um, I went and filmed myself um, in several of the big suppliers and again it was very similar to the way the turkeys were kept, there were just these huge sheds with these ducks in a dreadful state, you know, the, 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 these white feathered ducks um, that were just dirty animals going blind because they couldn't preen themselves because they have no access to water of course no access to swim i mean these are animals obviously that are born to be on water that's what they're meant to be to preen to exercise to to, to to play to do everything that a duck does and they just looked in such a pathetic pathetic state that it was truly shocking and when we got that footage out there were some tangible results from that and um, you know we did succeed in that I mean I think within um, one or two years of the campaign beginning the number of ducks being killed in the UK had fallen by two million so there were very tangible successes with that in changing people's attitudes. How can we permanently end all of these heartless acts against animals? The answer is simple and also good for our health and the environment. The compassionate vegan diet. Let's hear from Juliet Galatly on this perfect solution. Going vegetarian and going vegan um, is such a positive step and that's why I love working on it because you can empower people. You can change yourself just by going into that shop and not buying animal products and instead choosing things that protect our health that are full of vitality and life all you know the fruits the veggies the peas beans lentils groups and make you know there are thousands and thousands of these foods available now we have more choice than we have ever ever had in the history of human beings and um, there really is no excuses not to do it uh, millions and millions of us have so everybody can do it We would like to extend our deep gratitude to director Juliet Gilatli and all those at Viva who are working tirelessly to protect our wonderful beloved animal friends. May Viva's message of love for animals reach people across the globe. Thank you for joining us today on Animal World Our Co-Inhabitants. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May all beings on this planet live with dignity and freedom. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.